briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a riveting 1980 court drama, a dispute emerged over a standby letter of credit issued by an insolvent national bank, prompting a legal confrontation between the Miami National Bank, MNB, and the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, FDIC. The tension arose when MNB, which had obtained a standby letter of credit worth $10,000 from the American City Bank for a company named James Lee, Inc., found itself in a financial quagmire. The American City Bank had become insolvent before MNB could exploit the letter of credit, with the FDIC subsequently taking control of the crisis-ridden bank. Drama unfolded when the FDIC refused to honor the letter of credit, asserting it was still conditional. In an unforeseen turn of events, MNB decided to loan an extra $13,000 to James Lee, Inc., who unfortunately defaulted on the original $10,000 loan, amplifying the existing issues. The court later ruled in favor of MNB, stating that the FDIC was legally obligated to follow terms of the letter of credit and compensate the bank. The FDIC found itself in the clear after the court emphasized that it had correctly catered to the letter of credit, thereby entitling the entity to a summary judgment. The court dismissed the defendant's defenses as completely without merit and further suggested that at most, only a single dollar could be deducted from the defendant's debt to the FDIC. The landmark case underscored the necessity for legally sound defenses in situations surrounding standby letters of credit, ultimately serving as a critical testament to the rule of law in the financial sector. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.